5 times runs are a godsend of a feature. With the follow up of potion drop characters working outside of inheritance zone, it creates a dilemma. Should you be using metal bonus or potion drop characters in epic raids? If you've been on the edge to the side and this video helps, please be sure to leave a like. So, let's start with why you might be having this issue. In epic raids, there is a set of characters that are in rotation for being a bonus. Bonus as in extra damage and more metal drops. In a full lobby of bonus characters, that means faster clear times with more than usual metals, making it ideal for buying out the exchange shop. However, the list of bonus characters won't be in everyone's favor. There will be a day where you don't have any bonus characters for a certain attribute. This can be an issue, especially with how toxic bonus characters have become. If you don't have one, then you're not welcome within 90% of lobbies. But if you're consistently farming epic raids, then surely you'll buy out the whole shop before the raid ends, right? So why does it matter? Adding in 150 extra potions per lobby, with all 6 characters using potion drop characters, would seem more beneficial, right? You see, both sides of the argument have their valid points. But what if I told you that they can work together? The easy fix for this problem is to host your own lobbies. You'll have the freedom to choose between which one you want, given that people can read. Start off with full metal bonus characters, and once the shop is bought out, switch over to potion drop characters only. But that solution still segregates between the two. So here's my solution. Epic raid lobbies can fill up to 6 players at a time. Weirdly enough, the bonus caps at 200%. That means even if everyone is using a 50% bonus character, there's 100% being wasted. To avoid losing out on that potential gain, that means 2 out of the 6 players can switch over to potion drop characters. 50 extra potions a run, plus the 200% metal bonus, is far superior compared to one or the other. And if you're having trouble finding a lobby that suits your character roster, then don't hesitate to start up your own lobby. I hope my explanation had helped you with farming epic raids. If it did, please be sure to leave a like. And until next time.